There are many times in life that we need to tell people what to do directly. If we need our son Johnny to pick up his room, we can't very well walk into his room and say to him, Johnny will pick up his room. Well, I suppose we could, but we would only gain a confused look from him. English has a specific way to form a command sentence. Johnny, pick up your room. The same is true in Sumerian. There is a specific form that is used to give commands, which we will call the imperative. The form is actually quite simple. It is formed on the hamtu singular base, even in the plural, and the verbal base will move to the front of the verbal chain. The verbal chain will either be deleted, replaced with usually an A vowel, or the verbal chain will be slightly modified. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. If shumtu means to give, the imperative could simply be written shumtu ma, give, appearing in the same form as the participle. Very often, however, the verbal chain remains, but is slightly modified. Thus, if the form mu shumtu means you gave it, the imperative would be shumtu ma'ab, give it. Without worrying about the ma'ab for the moment, you quickly notice that the shumtu has been moved from its normal position near the end of the verbal chain to the very beginning. This is the essence of the form of the imperative. As for the ma'ab, one of the odd features of the imperative is that a random vowel may appear in the verbal chain that we would not expect. It is often an A vowel. So instead of seeing shumtu mu'ub, we see shumtu ma'ab. This only leaves the B to be explained, and you can probably guess what it represents. You got it, the third person inanimate object, it. Another example can be seen in the form du 11 ga na'ab, say it to him. Let's examine this form left to right. Du 11 is the verbal base, which has a G auslaut, which is followed by the A vowel. Na is the standard third person dative. B in ab is the third person inanimate object. The most important thing to remember with the imperative is that the verbal base will move to the front of the verbal chain, and it will usually be followed by some sort of A vowel and maybe a verbal chain. Non-finite simply refers to those forms that are not regular verbs, infinitives, participles, etc. We learned in an earlier lesson that the verbal form can appear by itself or with an A and can be translated either in a passive way, shum to ma, given, or nyara, set, placed, or like a participle, usually ending in an ing in English. Du 11 ga, saying, and nyara, placing. A more detailed discussion on the non-finite forms will appear in a later grammar, but we need to know about two basic forms at this point, the hamtu and maru participles. We already know the hamtu participle, which will usually be the verbal base followed by an a vowel, and is often a passive participle. The maru participle, however, is the active participle in Sumerian. It is formed with the maru verbal base, followed by an ed. Like the writing of the genitive ak, the maru participles ed will appear in different ways depending on the form of the verbal base. It is not necessary to discuss the variety of forms at this point, but if you see a maru verb with no verbal chain, followed by e, or with a D followed by a vowel, A, E, or even AM, you are likely looking at a Maru participle. The specific meaning of the Maru participle is sometimes unclear or debated, but for our purposes, the best way to translate it initially is either one, like an active participle, the one who, or two, like a purpose clause, in order to. So if you see N, Nam ta re da three, you would begin by translating it, the Lord who decides fates. If this translation did not fit the context, you would translate it, the Lord, in order to decide the fate. Similarly, if you see a two do three da three, you would initially translate this, the one who builds the house. If this does not work in the context, you might try, in order to build the house. The vocabulary for lesson 11. 
Me too, do 11. To care for, treat well. Move four. To get dressed. Luch. To clean or to wash. Rach two. To beat or to kill. Ene, do 11. To play. Sar, meaning one. To write. Sag three. To beat or to strike. Nam ku four to curse. Sal thin or fine. Lol untrue, false, or criminal. Pod three to find. Mar two Westerner. Chul two to rejoice. May she three where to? Sar meaning two. To run or to hasten. And finally, may ah. Where? The signs for lesson 11. Na tu. Pod three. U four. Me. Ul. Iti. Sang. And ka. And finally, the exercises for lesson 11. Lugal Ra, do eleven, ga ab. Nin Ra, mash tu, shum tu mu na ab. Dinger Enki, en, nam, tar tar, re de three. A two, do three de three. A two, ki, us tu se de three.